Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to today's Transform Your Day. So this class is an all body, a full body class. It's going to be stretchy, slow and mindful. And we're going to make sure that we really connect and tune with the breath and how our body feels today. Everybody is welcome to take part, but I'm going to keep cues to a bit of a minimal because I want you to really be part of your flow to find your areas that you enjoy without too much talking. So we're going to begin this class in a seated position, bending the right knee towards your chest and resting your right elbow onto the knee. Because we're gonna start this class today with alternate nostril breathing, a lovely breath to help relax your body and your mind and to relieve any stress from the body. A really great way to start today. So first of all, sit up nice and tall and just connect with your breath before we begin. Come into a nice, deep, slow breath. Listen to the sound as you inhale and exhale. And then rest your left hand onto your left knee and your elbow to your right knee. We're going to take our index and middle finger to the position between your eyebrows. That's releasing the pinky and the ring finger and releasing the thumb out to the side. Close your eyes and we're going to be doing breathing in for the count of four and exhaling for the count of four. So you can do this in your mind as you practice along with me. We're gonna block off the right nostril, inhale through the left. Block off the left with your ring finger, exhale out the right, count of four. Inhale through the right. Lock the right, exhale left. I inhale. Block left, exhale right. Inhale. Block. Exhale left. Inhale. Block. Exhale right. Inhale. Block. Exhale left. Inhale. Block. Exhale right. Inhale. Block. Exhale left. Inhale. Block, exhale right. Inhale. Block, exhale left. Inhale, block, exhale right, inhale, block, exhale right. 
block. Last one, exhale, lift. Slowly move your hand away and with your eyes closed, keep that nice deep breath in and out of both nostrils. You may notice that your breathing feels a little easier, maybe a little clearer than when you first began. Extend your arms out to the side so that you're creating a T and spread your fingertips, point them to the sky. Drop your head to the left, feeling that stretch all the way down into your palm, maybe even through the fingers. And finding some neck rolls from shoulder to shoulder. Take one more over towards the right. And start to roll your wrists out towards the center of your chest. Interlace your hands, press one hand away. So we're stretching the top of one and the back of the other. Swap over. Give them a shake. Taking the soles of the feet together, coming into our butterfly pose. You can stay up tall or find some movement. Rolling from side to side. And if it feels good, come on down. Finding some movement once again, rocking from side to side. Come on up, we're going to extend our right leg out to the side and start to sort of rock our hips forwards, finding a little bit of movement. You don't have to come too forward just so you can feel that stretch on the inner thigh of the right. And then point your right toes and continue. Let's swap over right heel towards your body Extend the left leg out to the side, finding that movement nice and gentle. Bend your knee if needed. Point 
point the toes and continue. Release, bring your heels back towards each other. This time extend them far away from your body and move your bum a little back. Back into your butterfly with your feet further away from you. Perhaps place your elbows onto your knees and lean forward. Breathe into the stretch. Slowly come on up, draw your knees together, coming onto all fours, tabletop. We're going to take our cat cows, inhale, drop the belly to look up. Exhale, arch, tuck the chin and the tailbone. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Walk your hands forward for your puppy pose. You can draw your head to the ground or you can bring your chest and chin all the way down if you're more intermediate. Lift up and roll your spine by tucking your chin all the way forwards onto your hips. Lift up for Cobra. And then lower down, raise your legs and your arms alongside your body for your locust pose using the strength of your back. Lower your hands alongside your body, press up into plank and tuck your chin towards your chest. Hug your belly button back and then slowly lower down to the hips for your cobra. Lower down even more to your locust, lift your legs and your arms. Hands alongside your body, press up into your plank. Tuck your chin towards your chest as you hollow out your stomach. And then exhale down. Last one of these. Into your cobra. And then to your locust, extend your arms, lift your legs. Plant your hands, tuck your toes, send it up to plank and back to down dog. 
Walk your feet, bend your knees, do what you need to feel comfortable. When you're ready, find stillness and take some deep breaths. Roll your body forwards to plank. Look between your hands and rock. Rock backwards and forwards. And then we're going to draw this right knee towards our chest, lifting up through the back. Step forwards to your runner's lunge. You can find some movement, rocking forwards and back. Walk your hands out to the side and open up through the back heel so that it's in line with the back of the mat. Start to sink down towards the right hip. Just find some pulsations here. You may want to press your knee into your elbow just to open it up. Keep your right toes facing the front of the mat and using the power of the legs, plant your back heel. We're going to lift up warrior two. Roll out your wrists if that feels good. From your warrior two, take your right hand down to the inside edge of the right foot. Left hand to the sky, look up. Plant the left hand down, coming into our lizard pose. So we're going to open up through that right leg, take it as wide as the mat. You can find some movement rocking forwards and back. And then slowly lower the back knee, resting into the stretch. You can come on all the way down to your elbows or just stay up high just like me. Come up off the back knee and step this left foot to the outside edge of the left hand, lower down, coming into your yogi squat. Hands at your heart center and prayer elbows, press the knees open. You can always elevate your hips onto a block, making it more accessible. Plant your hands onto the mat, as wide as the mat, as wide as your knees, and lean forward, starting to press from side to side, opening up a little deeper into the hips.
and then send your bum all the way to the sky open up through the heels and rest hang heavy hold on to each elbow you can find some movement if that feels good maybe rock backwards and forwards bend your knees generously if you need to Release your elbows, take a grip of your big toes with your index and middle finger and inhale, halfway lift, look forwards. Exhale, fold. And again, inhale, forwards. Exhale to fold. One more, inhale. And exhale. Plant your hands and we're going to step back into plank. Find a rock forwards and back. And then exhale all the way to the belly. Inhale for cobra, raise the hands. Exhale down. Inhale to rise. Exhale down. Inhale, rise. Exhale down. Press yourself up and back to downward facing dog. From your down dog, roll forwards to plank. Hold your plank for a moment. Maybe a rock if that feels good. And then take your left knee to your chest. Lift your bum up towards the sky and step through into your runner's lunge. You can find some movement if that feels good. And then start to face the side of your mat towards the right. Open out the back heel, just as you would in a warrior two. So it's a knife edge to the back of the, le to the, back of the mat. And once again, we're gonna find that movement we found earlier. So we're going to lower down, pressing into the knee. Lower and lift. And then using the power of your legs, raise up. Warrior two, bending into that front knee. Make sure your front toes are facing forwards. Let's place this left hand down next to the left foot. Right hand raises to the sky.
we're going to place this right hand down and heel toe the left toes out to the side so that we're in our lizard pose. You can find some movement, rocking forwards and back. And then slowly lower the back knee down to the ground. You can stay up high on your hands or come down all the way to your forearms. From here, this time we're going to press up back into our runner's lunge or our high lizard pose and we're going to step to plank, rolling over onto the right wrist for side plank. You can stay here or step this top leg behind you for your wild thing opening up through the heart. And then slowly start to come on back round, bringing this into a three-legged down dog, raising that left leg to the sky and lower it down. Roll forwards to plank, roll over onto the left hand for your side plank on the other side. You can stay here or raise the top leg Step it behind you and raise your hips to the sky for wild thing. Slowly start to make your way back and lift that right leg to the sky for three legged down dog. Plant it back down and we're going to take our knees nice and open for a wide-legged child's pose. Open them as wide as the mat and draw your head down towards the ground. Rest into this pose or choose another pose of your choice. Lift your head and walk your hands over to the left. Take a grip of your right palm, your right wrist, and rest your head down, side body stretch. Lift up, walk to the right, take a grip of the left wrist, 
rest down. Slowly come back to center. Draw your knees together. Open your heels out to the side. Coming in for our hero pose. If this is too uncomfortable, just come into a normal kneeling position. Sit up nice and tall through the spine. Just taking a moment to tune back into a natural breath. If you're in Hero's Pose, just come on forwards into a kneeling position. And we're going to finish the class today with a little neck stretch. So extending the arms out to the side, drop your head over to one side and find some neck rolls from shoulder to shoulder. Bring your head back to neutral as you roll your wrists towards your chest. Bring them to your heart center in prayer. Bow your head. Thank yourself for showing up on the mat today. Thank you for being here. You can slowly open your eyes. Thank you so much for being here today, everyone. Let me know in the comments how you got on with this class and whether or not some of the poses were accessible or not for your body. Until our next flow, I send you lots of love and light from beautiful France. Speak soon. Namaste.